do subscribe to Ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering, HSE and IIT JE main and advanced videos. Hello students, today we are studying chapter human health and diseases. In that we are studying topic type of T lymphocytes. Either you can say lymphocytes or normal T cells. There are four different types of T cells. Let's study about them today. T lymphocytes. If I say about T lymphocytes or T cells, they are the highest rank cells in our body. The base rank cells would be your WBCs or white blood cells. Above that would be phagocytic cells. Above that would be your B cells or plasma B cells. And the highest rank would be the T lymphocytes. Now T cells are of four different kinds. And in simple analogy, if I'm trying to explain you all, they could be the leader of all the immune cells. They once destroyed in your body, the other cells will suffer a lot. They are the ones who give direction to each and every cell. And they are responsible of killing the highest source of virus or bacteria that gains entry inside your body. For example, if there is a normal bacterial infection in your body which you have imbibed through food infection or foodborne infection, that time your T cells won't come into picture. Your WECs, your phagocytic cells will take care of it. But there is an invasion of HIV virus in your body or reverse transcriptase or HIV antibodies are produced in your body. At that time, T lymphocytes will be used and they will come into picture. The four types of T lymphocytes may include suppressor cells, memory cells, cytotoxic T cells and helper cells. Now they all work in coordination and in a certain strategic fashion to kill harmful cells. When I talk about harmful cells, it could be tuberculosis disease, it could be leprosy virus or it could be HIV virus whenever they gain entry. Now CD4 cells and CD8 T cells are two cells of T lymphocytes which show invasion or killing of the harmful viruses and their drop or increase in the blood cell indicate either an harmful infection has gained into your body or a particular infection or a virus is multiplying in your body at a very greater level. T lymphocytes or T cells. Now when I talk about T cells, the four different kinds of T cells would be helper T cells, cytotoxic T cells or suppressor T cells. Let's talk about helper T cells. Now helper T cells basically produce lymphokines. They are attraction of macrophages or you can say phagocytic cells and stimulation of B cells is done by helper T cells. Now B cells could be plasma B cells or other invading B cells which are initiated or activated by helper T cells. Helper T cells work in coordination with cytotoxic T cells or killer T cells. Now cytotoxic T cells basically they attack and destroy invading microbes and once cytotoxic T cells try and kill these microbes during cancer invasion they work at a greater level. One Important function of cytotoxic T cells would be that they cannot recognize between cell self and non-self. 
For example, if there is a cancerous cell in your body and cytotoxic T cells are activated, now cytotoxic T cells cannot differentiate between whether they are killing the cancerous cell or in the process of killing those cancerous cells, they are also destroying your own body cell. That's the main issue with the cytotoxic T cells or TC cells. Another kind of cell are suppressor T cells. Now when I talk about suppressor T cells, these are the cells of the immune system that stop the immune system or immune cells from attacking its own body cell for example especially during grafting now during grafting what happens is for example it is a kidney graft a kidney transplant in simple language once a kidney is transplanted from one individual to another individual one is the recipient and obviously another one is the donor there are chances that the mhc complex or the major histocompatibility complex of the recipient and donor may not align together with it with it or together they cannot compromise or together they cannot adhere to it now once a graft is transplanted into the donor there are high chances that the immune system of that donor will try to reject the graft that is the reason during organ transplant antisuppressants are given or certain medications are given that will suppress your immune system all your cells whether it is cytotoxic T cells plasma cells B cells every one of them so that the graft or that particular organ that has been surgically operated or it has been put into your body can sustain and survive and find its analogy inside your body and it is not rejected or it is not killed or invaded by the cells of your immune system because our body works on a very simple phenomena if there is a foreign substance in your body then your antibodies or your fighter cells are going to get activated and they are going to kill it so that's the thing suppresses cells too. They try your body from stopping to killing your own body cells, especially during cancerous medicine given and during organ transplant. Finally, the fourth kind of T lymphocytes, memory T cells or memory T lymphocytes. Now, cells of T lymphocytes or memory T lymphocytes are previously sensitized and they retain sensitization for future. So, students, this were the four different kinds of cells. Memory T cells basically take photocopy or they retain in their memory if there was an infection previously and they try to kill that infection in the future. I hope students, we all are clear with four type of T lymphocytes. Thank you.